happening in Waco. The city will shell out $5.8 million for renovations on the historic suspension bridge. The initial phase of design work starts Monday, causing sections of the bridge and Indian Spring Park to close during the next three weeks. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell is live in Waco with more. Hey, Jasmine. Well, Chris and Leslie, if you don't know the suspension bridge, then you don't know Waco. The iconic bridge is almost 150 years old, and it's the image that comes to mind when most people think of Waco. The suspension bridge is to Waco, what Times Square is to New York. Built in 1869, Waco's most notable public landmark continues to bring former residents like Alan Hunt back 75 years after his departure. It's fond memories of Waco. So we're just back visiting and enjoying the town, and I just love this bridge. We're just uh, strolling on this bridge. So Hunt and generations in the future can continue to enjoy it, the suspension bridge will undergo a $5.8 million makeover to address the structural needs like new decking, new cables, and reinforcement of the towers and anchors. Caribbe Vice says the changes are necessary. Especially with the um, ground part, I know that I've run across it a couple times and tripped on some loose boards, so I would, I would love to see maybe just a little bit more of a flat surface for people to walk across and things like that, but I'd love for them to keep the, you know, pretty much the same character that it has right now. So, but definitely could use a little improvement. Waco newcomers like Kenny Quintal said he'll benefit from the upgrades. He said he visits the bridge frequently to learn about the city's past. We cross the bridge here, you know, to get a good view of the Barazas. And sometimes my friends, they wanted to know what the bulls are for. And we learn a little bit of the local history. Now the bridge will be closed Monday for about two to four days, but will reopen Friday to the public at noon for a full list of those closures. Just head over to our website, KCENTV.com. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News.